All right, guys, welcome to Bel Air Broadcast right here in Broadway Joe's downtown Monticello. If there's a downtown, it is downtown Monticello today. Indiana Tenderloin is made by a Chicago kid. Do I know how to do it? Sort of. I've had a few of them and I don't understand it, but uh, here's the thing. You take a pork loin, you pound the hell out of it, you got a little mallet. I should have brought my mallet over here to show you what kind of mallet they have. But you guys, if you're watching from Indiana, don't know. So I've got a powder mix right here. If you're going to make this at home, it's one third flour, two thirds uh, bread flour, uh, some multicolored peppercorn, and some kosher salt with a little bit of Hungarian paprika inside. For this particular case, I, instead of using saltines, I like using crackers. So I'm going to crunch up these crackers. I'm going to put them inside here, guys, crunch them up. So that way, you know, here to it, and I'm going to get this cool thing. I've seen people use every single thing from Rice Krispies to saltines to you name it. Get that out of the way here for all my gloves. Uh, i got a couple choices. You can use pretzel bun or sweet bolo. You guys already know I'm a more of a sweet bolo kind of guy. So these are 10 ounce tenderloins. I've soaked them in whipping cream, some chili lime uh, peppers inside there. Put that over the side. And so they've been sitting there for about four or five hours. You can see nice and nice and moist. It's about 10 ounces right here. Throw it inside the breading. I want to get a nice coating on this right here. You can make sure I get some of those, uh, uh, what are they called, ruffles, little ruffles inside there. I want to make sure that's all good to go. And so my fryer over there is about 350 degrees, just enough to get it kind of nice. So here we go. Nicely coated, lay it inside. Now, if you're doing this at home, obviously you can do it the way you want to at home in a normal little deep fryer. But the key thing is, 10 ounce tin on, I'm going to come back over here, got my scotch, because it is belly up broadcasting. When I'm done, I always like to take care of myself. Who am I wearing today? DT Kirby's. So if you guys have a have a shirt, uh, uh, a bar, a restaurant, a club, where you work, and you want to have a seat on here, just send me a 2X, even a cool hat. So down here, throw this on the grill. Upside down, I'm going to get some grill marks on there. Just a few grill marks. Now, let's get this out of the way. We've got that done. We're going to have to port this together very shortly here. Now, you know, I said, I'm going to be organized. It's probably something I'm going to have to work on at some particular point. Don't you think? <laughs> I'm not sure. But anyway, DT Kirby's is downtown Lafayette. Stop on by, say hi. It's a definitely a Chicago bar. Uh, you'll like it. Like I said, peppercorn salt on top of that. Why this is cooking, just a quick little hit, that's all. Tongs. I'm going to flip it over. Now look at this. The sun to come along, guys. Flip that over. Lay it back inside there. Now, toss that other side. Toss this other side. It won't take long. The ingredients on top of this, my understanding, is from Nancy's Restaurant down in Indianapolis or somewhere around in that Huntington, maybe. On there, she invented the tenderloin. How? No clue. Cool. But my understanding is it's supposed to have like onions, pickles, and mustard. I gotta have some crunch. So I'm gonna put some lettuce, I'm gonna put some tomatoes, put some pickles, I'm gonna put my own home sauce on there because that's what I do all the time. Let's first grab. Oh, see how cool this is? It's got like a leg. Can you see that, Trish? Can you see this moving around? That you can tell I'm getting old because I don't have to even hunt them down either. So I'm gonna throw some lettuce on the bottom. I do a little shred of lettuce. Sometimes I'll use uh, romaine, because I really like romaine. Throw this on, you hear it crackling over there? It's almost done. Oh, it is. Look at that baby right there. Look at it. I'm gonna set on the grill. Turn that over one more time. Now see how beautiful that is right there? Now, mustard, they say that's mandatory. So, it's mandatory, I'm putting mustard on it. They say pickles. Mandatory. So what am I going to do? I'm throwing pickles on there. So 10 ounces, and I've seen them, I've seen, I've seen some of ones this big. Well, what did, I don't think, they, what did I do? I, I don't know how they do that. I know I'm not putting a ton of one that big on there. What am I missing, Trish? Pickles. I got the pickles, I got the onions. Onions, little onions. Little mm -hmm. diced onions. Got the pickles, little diced onions over the top. So, I got the home sauce that I have to put on my bread. This is my sauce. Is this small ball? Does it help? Right. 
So here we go. Put my sauce on there. I'll teach you how to make. Oh, I'll teach you how to make that short one here. There's a couple of rules with some tenderloins. I understand. All right. Tenderloin right on top. There it is. Is that beautiful? Now again, I've seen them this big with a little tiny bun like this, but I'm not using one of the tiny bun. I'm using a nice size one. All right. Look at that right there. Now that is a tenderloin. Ten ounces. Pot like crazy. Peppercorn, salt, red flour, two thirds, regular flour, one third. This I am stalling so I don't burn my tongue. So this is the Chicago Boys version because you got to be able to hold the bun in this. Those big ones, you can't even get your hands to hold the bun. You got to eat around it. I can get a bite out of this without a doubt. Again, DT Kirby's. That's another place. That's my interest. Down interest. Come to you, isn't it? Are you ready, Kirby's? Again. Ready. Please. All right. Thank you very much. She does this every time. Chips, obviously the home sauce makes it the whole thing. The Kirby's flour on top of that, mustard pickle. Um, I'm thinking one more bite. What do you think? You want to bite Kirby's? She can't have bread right now. It's like, I'm not, I'm not the tenderloin kind of guy, but you know, when you when you put a Chicago twist to it, good to go. Signing off. Cheers.